Astrophysicus. He's an astronomy columnist with National Geographic and joins us tonight from Montreal. Andrew, were the skies clear enough in Montreal to get a good view of the eclipse? We got so lucky. There were some high clouds that started rolling in around midday. Made us a little worried, but they stayed thin enough that we could enjoy every part of the eclipse, including totality. It was amazing. All the corona was visible, prominences, everything. You couldn't ask for more. All right, so let's take a look at that long shadow from the viewpoint of the International Space Station. How long did the darkness last for people? So depending on where you were geographically, um, it could last anywhere, say, 30 seconds to well over four minutes. And that really depended on where you were along the pathway, especially if you were on the midline, the center line of the pathway, you got the full effect of of multiple minutes of darkness. If you were sitting on the edge of the pathway, like most of uh, Montreal where I was, you got anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes uh, of, of darkness. All right, so not a big window. You had to really be prepared because when will Canada see another total solar eclipse? <laughs> yeah, so you'll have to wait until August 22nd, uh, 2043, and you'll have to travel to Alberta and Northwest Territories. It'll be a beautiful pathway of totality that goes uh, almost north-south, just, uh, just above Calgary itself. And uh, after that, for those of you in uh, maybe in big urban centers like Toronto, you're going to have to wait until the year 2040, uh, 2144. Can you imagine that? That I cannot. Andrew Fazekas, appreciate you joining us tonight.